Hey there everybody! So if you're working in Cricut Design Space for these Easter packages, I just want to take a minute to show you how to um, add your score lines so that if you're using your scoring stylus or scoring wheel with your Cricut machine, um, you know how to change them from a cut line to a score line. Um, so I've already imported one of my images here, but I'm just going to walk you through the whole process. So I'm going to go over to my Upload button, and I'm going to click Upload and Browse my computer. And let's just take the Easter basket here, for example. So these files are, of course, free to you on the blog inside of the Freebie Vault. So the links for that are below this video. And I'm just going to hit open and bring this in. I'm going to select complex because I want to make sure all those little details stay in my print then cut image. Click continue and then save. I'm going to now click on that box and insert it into the canvas. So here we have this item here and um, I can't scale it too much bigger because Cricut limits how big your size is and you'll notice a little yellow exclamation point over here in your layers panel if it's too big. So just make sure that your um, box or any of these pieces are within a 9.2 by 6.2. 25 I think it is or something like that um, dimension here on the screen and you can also see your dimensions right up here in the edit bar. Um, these make little tiny um, ba Easter basket, paper Easter baskets here but they're perfect for putting in like some little Cadbury eggs or something like that. It's like the perfect little handful size of candy. So they're a pretty good size for um, getting in, like a handful of candy as a little gift to somebody. So we have our print and cut image in here but we don't have our score lines yet. So I'm going to show you what I do to bring them in. And of course, you don't have to do this if you're using, you know, printable uh, PDFs or PNG images because you can just fold accordingly. Um, but for those using Cricut machines, this is going to be really helpful. So I'm just going to browse my computer again and I'm going to bring in my Easter basket score lines. Now when you import these, they're not going to automatically be score lines. Everything that you import as an uploaded image into Cricut Design Space pretty much will always default to being a cut line. You're going to have to tell Design Space that you want to change this. So I'm going to select that and insert it into the canvas. And you're also going to need to size this accordingly because you probably will have changed your box size and this won't probably come in at the right size. So here is the size of um, this box here. It's 6.692. So I can just type that exact dimension in into the edit bar up here and it'll make it the exact same size. So 6.692, 6.692, and now it is exactly the same size and we can just pull that over here on top. You can also use your align um, button as well to help you here. So I'm just going to grab both these pieces and I'm going to align them to the left and then align them to the bottom. There we go. Now it's perfectly stacked on top. I'm only going to select those score lines now and you can see in our line type here that it says cut but we need it to score. So use that drop down to change it to score. You'll see the imagery change and then select both of these pieces and use your attach tool in the bottom right hand corner. And now when you send this to your cut screen, you click the make it button, it's going to prompt you to print this out on an inkjet printer and then it's going to have you load it into your machine on your mat. It's going to first ask you to add your scoring wheel or scoring stylus to your machine. It's going to score everywhere, and then it's going to cut the outline of this box out. And you would do exactly the same thing for any of these pieces um, in this little Easter package set here that I have for you guys, whether it's the bunny one or the... Um, the carrot or the basket, it will all follow the same basic steps. So I just wanted to show you that for those of you who are working in design space and you want to know how to add those score lines on top of these package sets so you can have the machine help you fold those um, precisely. So go back to that link below in this video to watch how I assemble these packages if you need any assistance with that and I'll see you guys there.